Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch as we get into the trading week. We're hearing that Rolls-Royce has released um, well, quite a significant statement that they posted almost 50% jump in sales in 2021 and this is actually a record in their 117 year history so quite a big uh, announcement from the CFO yesterday in an online presentation uh, the car maker was said to have sold over five and a half thousand vehicles to customers in more than 50 countries um, and you know because of the pandemic lockdown in a lot of countries from in 2021 which was still going obviously travel was uh, well, pretty much abolished for a lot of countries then a lot of people were spending more on luxury cars and this is where Rolls Royce did come into play and it has actually hit quite well exceed a lot of expectations there and you know key markets such as China and the US as I said with the pandemic restrictions coming into play more effectively as well so almost 50% uh, in uh, well record high at the time as I said and also uh, Bentley, which is um, a unit of Volkswagen, uh, did say last week it also cruised to uh, 2021 record sales or, or over 30% up from the previous year as well. And um, this is pretty much the same reason, uh, you know, a lot of uh, luxury car enthusiasts were possibly taking more of a gamble and as the as the pandemic basically hit a lot of travel. So we'll see what that is in store for 2022, if there's going to be more lockdowns as we go in and what it means for the luxury car makers in general, not just Rolls-Royce as well. So just looking on the charts at the moment, Rolls-Royce, I've been seeing this recent upsurge in uh, prices uh, for the last few trading sessions and what that means to me is we are now hitting with the assistance of the Ichimoku Cloud which is what I'm using for the entry and exit prices uh, what I'm seeing now is just a touch at the bottom border of this Ichimoku, Ichimoku Cloud uh, which means that we have slight engulfment but as you can see here the cloud has actually jumped a little bit upwards it's not a straight line as it has been here and because of that I'm seeing that prices may just keep consolidating for a little bit before we see another direction either to the upside for another push at these highs or maybe another downside push uh, if we get a rejection at this particular area nothing too much on the RSI but if we look at the four hour chart just for some intraday action and I'll just remove um, the drawings and you know what it's looking like at the moment is a v-shaped recovery up until this particular um, peak roughly about the 132 area uh, however we are looking at the moment that as you can see a slight divergence on there which could mean prices could start pushing you know get a little bit restricted uh, roughly around this area and start moving a little bit lower so just watch out for that if you are looking to trade Rolls Royce stocks with that there could be a little bit of a um, rejection at this level however if we do push through this um, particular area then I'll be looking at the next level uh, which is another $10 uh, move or pound move depending on where uh, which chart you're looking at if it's dollars or pounds so just something to look out for for Rolls Royce uh, Volkswagen I'm always uh, looking at Volkswagen because um, you know it's one of Europe's big car makers and it's really pushing itself into the electric vehicle montage and the last time I looked at it we're in this descending channel here and we seem to have broken out of it and stayed out of it as well so what is quite significant in this respect is now the bias is on the upside which means that if we can break past this recent double top which it seems to be forming at the moment then another push to the upside could be more likely than not um, obviously we're trading quite far above the Ichimoku cloud as well which indicates another strong move to the upside and again if we just look on the four hour chart if we just concentrate on this recent double well, almost double top here then we're just looking at some choppy action another push to the upside but obviously earnings season is upon us so just keep an eye out for that for all the automakers and the luxury automakers as well you know Volkswagen is looking to move into the electric car well it is in the electric vehicle circuit at the moment but really really trying to push even more so yeah just take a look at um, the, the prices bouncing up at, at this particular region very far away from the cloud so we'll see what happens to that in the near term as well not too much in the way of divergences on the RSI so we'll keep it um, a little bit locked down until then and we'll see what comes for the rest of the week so that's all from today's stock watch and join me again tomorrow for more updates bye for now